I, I know how disappointed she is. And now with her aunt dying suddenly, it's just not possible. Vous comprenez? Uh, oui, oui, uh, Monsieur Rousseau. Je comprends bien. Un petit film mérite mieux qu'une chambre en arrière une salle de poisson. Uh, please, Monsieur, uh, don't worry. Uh, she'll be fine. Uh, Claudette has proved herself to be a smart and resilient young lady. Life is an unending puzzle of seemingly random, disconnected pieces. Some make sense, some don't. Some we'll figure out, some we won't. There lies the mystery, the paradox. For many, every piece is a mindless sleepwalk. But for some, every piece is a journey to an awakening. My journey would begin in the halls of a New England French Catholic boarding school. Here I would befriend four extraordinary girls and learn that miracles are not only possible, but expected. The hardest part of that first day was saying goodbye to my little brother. You're gonna take care of your big brothers, right? And you're gonna help Daddy make French toast on Sunday mornings like I taught you? Hey, I'll be home for your birthday, okay? <laughs> you can come home anytime. Mom went to the school. Alice, St. Vincent's is a reputable place. Yeah, for a crazy house. She didn't have to go. Yes, she did. It was time. Your mother's in good hands, sweetie. She'll be well taken care of, okay? Hmm? Rose, look at me. Don't you know how lucky you are? I could never afford to send you to a school like this. Frank Richmond is a decent man. Everybody knows Frank Richmond. His cheddar won the blue ribbon three years running. You do want me to be happy, don't you, honey? Bye. 
finally. Need some help? No thanks. You read all these? Knowledge is power. Sir Francis Bacon. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein. Truth is on the march and nothing can stop it. Emil Zola. Truth has no special time. Its hour is now. The truth shall set you free. When you come to a fork in the road, take it. Who said that? Yogi Berra. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever need any extra sheets or blankets, I know where you can find some. Thanks. Grilled cheese is definitely my favorite. And then there's um, cheese souffle, cheese fondue, cheesecake, and the infamous all-American cheeseburger. <laughs> Hi, my name's Alice. My name's Rose. So, what's with the cheese? I hate cheese. Give your father a hug goodbye. You're a good girl, Rachel. Remember that. Now don't you go giving him any trouble in there. She's not the trouble. It's a waste of hard-earned money, if you ask me. Not even a goddamn men's room. Oh, shit. And what are these benchmarks? Discipline, humility, Love of service to God and to mankind. The preparation and training for your future lives as Catholic wives and mothers will be seated here. <clears throat> you are the seeds, your education, your food and water. Plant a seed, carefully tend and water that seed, and it will grow straight and strong and bear healthy fruit. Devotion to work and to God can and will bring rewards, but only to those who are willing to put forth the effort. And the rewards are great. So for those of you who are willing to accept the challenge, Mass will be said daily at 6.15 a.m. And now let us begin our academic year by professing our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son. You know, it's on the head. Conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost. Born of the Virgin Mary. 
suffered from an a conscious pilot. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Finish up now. You don't want to be late to Vesper prayers. Olin was the school groundskeeper. A man labeled retarded back then had few prospects for work, so his parents turned to the church. The nuns agreed to take care of him. A typical day started at 6 a.m. Even earlier, if you were one of the few to actually attend morning mass. Body of Christ. Or should I say one of the chosen few? Body of Christ. Body of Christ. For some of the older, stricter nuns made it their mission to keep a watchful eye on the most devotional students. And so began a life of discipline and rules laid down decades earlier. The school had originally been established to educate girls of French-Canadian immigrants from surrounding mill towns, run by an order of French nuns, most of whom were gentle and kind. got here an exploding bomb couldn't wake me up but now here stick it under your pillow it'll wake up the dead Claire no dilly-dallying don't worry sister Gabriel is a peach you're still green she'll just put you in the closet I've never seen eggs like this before from a box. You'll get used to them. Actually, it's not half bad. Finish these up and then get to breakfast. I see Claudette is still with us. 
father broke the news to her yesterday. It's a very difficult situation. That poor man. She was looking so forward to going home this year. What that girl has put him through. Let us keep them both in our daily prayers. What happened to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm famished. You're good. Here, for the food monster, he eats them all. You call this food? Are you gonna eat that? Okay, who's hiding the pepper? There isn't any. What do you mean there isn't any? The penguin stick is an aphrodisiac. Pepper? What's an aphrodisiac? Something nuns and priests use to arouse religious fervor. <laughs> <laughs> Bulldog alert. Watch out for that one. Her bite is worse than her bark. Sister Albert, or Bulldog, as Claudette referred to her, was head of the novitiate, overseeing the studies of the young women preparing to become nuns. Formerly school principal and mother superior of the convent for 20 years, she had recently been replaced by Sister Madeline. Although no longer in charge, she still made it her business to know everything about the students. And as Catholic women, Future wives and mothers, you now have a greater role to play in the church. Turn to page four of document. Yes, Jackie? I don't see how. How what? How women can play a greater role. Oh, I don't understand. Women have no voice. You can be a nun, but you can't be a priest. If you can't be a priest, you can't be a bishop or a cardinal. So you can never be a pope. As long as women are considered the weaker sex and subservient to men in the church, they will have absolutely no power whatsoever, making their role a moot point. Looking for something in particular? Uh, no, no, um, my desk. So how old's your little brother? Uh, the pictures, I, I assumed he was your little brother. I have a kid brother. Actually, I have four. They can be such pains, huh? My brother's dead. I, I am so sorry. Look, I have a big mouth, and I had no right to... It's okay. So, you have four brothers? Yeah. Polly's six, then there's Roland, who's 13. Then you have Louie and Richie, who work for my father, delivering heating oil. Do you have any other... No. It's just me. If you're interested, I'll show you the sites after class. Major changes. Alice Leclerc? Mademoiselle Leclerc? Uh, mass is no longer said in Latin, and we can now eat meat on Fridays. Yippee. Yes, Rose. What about aphrodisiacs? Excuse me? If nuns and priests can use aphrodisiacs to increase religious fervor, I would 
think that Pope would want all Catholics to use them. From that moment on, it seemed as if Claudette was always in trouble. She was given the choice to attend Mass every day for the next week. It's either that or detention. She chose detention. Rose, on the other hand, was forever seeking forgiveness. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. When you're done, Rose, I'd like a word with you. You said you wanted to see the sights. Some things are worth the risk. Hungry? It started early on, after Polly was born. She just wouldn't get out of bed. And when she did, she would just sit there. I poured my heart out to Claudette that day about my mother's mental illness. I told her how I grew up having to care for her and my baby brother, and how angry I was at my father for having her committed. Claudette just listened. She never said a word. As the days rolled into weeks, we began to settle into our new lives at school. Each in our own way. Body of Christ. Today we're going to discuss the manner of dress, what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. To avoid occasion of sin, dresses should be worn no higher than the middle of the knee all the while grabbing every opportunity to escape the daily routine. We knew we were breaking the rules, but as Claudette often reminded us, that's what rules were for. On the rare occasion when we were caught doing something wrong, punishment in a place where cleanliness equated to godliness meant extra work duty. The very worst was suspension of our monthly weekend home. should be three inches above the cleavage line. For the first time in my life, I finally felt free. Did you take medicine to control the fever? Yeah, and her mother just dumped her here for a new boyfriend. Rach, some time today? So what else did she tell you? Well, come on, just tell us. Whenever her mother would have trouble finding work, these guys would show up at her house. She told Rose they were there to interview her for a new job. She said they'd always go into the bedroom to talk in private. When the meeting was over, the guys would leave cash on the kitchen table. Her mom said it was for a salary advance. She believed it? Is that naive or what? Gullible. 
Now in this place, that can be dangerous. Oh, Jin. What? 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 Oh, I've got. Okay, let's play again. As we adjusted to boarding school life, it was amazing how our daily routine kept us blindly unaware of our true surroundings. Let's get out of here. Claudette told us that some of the old nuns were different from the rest. I never gave it much thought until that night. The next day was declared a school holiday as the convent prepared for the arrival of the bishop. It's known as the investiture ceremony, where a postulant nun received the official habit of the order. Her initial training complete, she then goes on as a novice for five more years of intensive study, at the end of which time she becomes a fully professed nun. There was an unexpected surprise that day an altar boy named Ronnie, Olin's younger brother. A surprise because of the unspoken rule. When an altar boy reached puberty, he was never seen again. But on occasion, the nuns made an exception for Olin's sake. The rest of the time, the only male presence we would ever be blessed with is the old convent priest. Place. 
Okay. Over there. Find one. Now, if you were a man, which drop-down gorgeous one would you pick? <laughs> Besides, who would want to give up everything just to live in a convent for the rest of their life? Uh, no fun. No sex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they miss it? It? She can't even say the word. <laughs> <laughs> How can you miss what you've never had? At least not with a man, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. Pump. Pump. Claudette Rousseau! It seems the sin committed here is more in the eyes of the observer. Oh, I agree that what the girls did was reckless and dangerous, but... Uh... With prurient and blatant behavior, and she encouraged them. To do nothing simply condones this type of activity. I'll take care of the matter. How is our young postulant, Sarah Lambert, doing? Very well, sister. Why do you ask? Well, she seems to be quite isolated from the others. Is there a problem that I should be aware of? And you and Sister Regis seem to be giving her an unusual amount of attention. I take my responsibility as directress of this novitiate quite seriously. As well you should. But let us not confuse dedication with zeal. Of course. For my seventh birthday, I sent out party invitations to all the kids in my class. But nobody showed up. Great. It's supposed to make her feel better. This isn't fair. There'll be plenty of other weekends. We weren't doing anything wrong. Tell that to Rose. I committed a despicable act. What is it, Rose? I was still upset about being grounded that weekend and missing my brother's birthday. So much so, it hadn't occurred to me that I was the only one who really had a home worth going back to. Whatever you do, don't tell Dad, okay? I know. I know. I miss you, too. Rachel seemed oddly content with not going home. Jackie didn't seem to care. Claudette didn't have a choice in the matter. seem to be finding a new home. Battle fatigue. <laughs> she got me in there for three hours. Where have you been? In the infirmary. I was feeling a little wheezy. I bet. Hey, Rach, you work with uh, Regis and the Sacristy, right? Mm -hmm. No 
know where she keeps the keys? Although we couldn't go home that weekend, at least we had each other. Turns out, Jackie wouldn't have gone home, even if she could. So, I slipped it into the offerings box. I was just a kid. I would say. Dear God, I know you're busy, but I need your advice. What can I do to make my mother like me? I look forward to your reply. Yours truly, Jackie. Espinard. And in case you forgot, the S stands for Susan, not stupid. Never did get an answer. Makes you wonder. We tried to make the best of that weekend and have some fun. Of course, Claudette's version of fun was always different than ours. Being a nun isn't normal? No! Living with females? Ugh, day in and day out. I don't know. It's gotta be a really peaceful kind of life. You're never alone, surrounded by people who really care about you. Doesn't sound so bad to me. Sounds dull as shit to me. Hey, there she is. That's the one I was talking about. She looks okay. There's something different about her. She's probably on retreat or something. We're set. Tonight's the night. All right, you're up. Hey, Rachel. You coming? Yeah. Are you gonna play this game or not? Whose deal? No bets, no chips. You play to win. You lose, you throw in the kitty what's near and dear. Or your choice. So, who's in? Who's out? They're all I have of my father's. Wait, what about you? The rag doll. My good luck piece? Fine. Last two left, with the guts to stay in the game. Winner gets to choose for the loser. Joker's wild.
Five of a kind beats a royal flush. Well. Guess you win. Fair and square. I couldn't stop thinking about the promise I broke to my little brother. But there would be a reason behind everything that happened that weekend. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to sneak up on people? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. So you like taking pictures? Have a secret place. We walked for what felt like miles down a long wooded path and finally through a clearing. That's when I saw it. It was a shrine of sorts. But to what or whom I couldn't say. say there was something strangely peaceful about it. What is this place? Rosa Crisis Venite, Videte, Videte, Videte. Whoever hath eyes to see can and will see rightly. Yeah, it was like she was having a vision or something. 
How long does it last? I don't know. I know those woods. But I've never found this place. You'll see. It's well hidden. I won't be going with you. Of course you're going with us. Why wouldn't you be going with us? I'm going on retreat. A religious retreat? What are you talking about? You're serious. Rose, where is this coming from? You let them talk to you into joining their little clique. I've seen you cozying up to Luger and Bulldog. Solidarity is a school activity. Clique club, what's the difference? Because if they don't get enough of it stuffed down our throats already. It's just a prayer and discussion group. Okay, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. We always do everything together. Next thing you know, she'll be telling us she wants to be a nun. The next morning, I took the girls to that secret place hidden deep in the woods. It was another beautiful day of an Indian summer that year. It's not enough for me. So you're saying that you have to see God in order to believe in him? You can't see the wind, but you know it's there. But you can feel that. Exactly. Well, how do we even know it's a he? Ancient civilizations believed in feminine gods. The Greeks had Athena, the Egyptians had Isis. Who's to say they were wrong? It's as though the circle held some kind of power, a soothing, gentle force that seemed to open and draw us in as we talked that day about the mysteries of life. And of course, the biggest mystery of all. And I thought only saints had visions. My father has visions all the time. Usually before he passes out. <laughs> I wonder who she sees. You mean like those apparitions at Lourdes and Fatima? Yeah. Yeah. Those kids were delusional. Right. I mean, millions of people get cured at those places. They're delusional. According to the books I've read on church law, in order to be canonized a saint, there has to be documented evidence that the person has performed miracles. Give me a break. Did you guys listen to yourselves? You haven't even a shred of proof that this girl even had a vision. They have her performing miracles. She could be crazy as a loon, like your mother. I know what I saw. What you think you saw. Claudette's words were harsh. But I couldn't help but wonder, was it doubt? Or fear? The next day in class, it was announced that the nuns would be holding auditions for the school play. Jackie and I had an idea. It's just an audition. Come on, just read for the part. It'll be a goof. Not interested. Come on, Rachel. You have to do it. Okay, if anyone can pull this off, you can. Right. I'll think about it. She'll do it. It was obvious that Rachel was distracted with other possibilities. I guess we all were. As Jackie had predicted, Rachel came through for us. Have you guys seen Rachel Dugan? She's inside. Yes. Cool. <laughs> For I am the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valleys. Oh, my dove, 
Who art in the clefts of the rock, secret places of the stairs. He feedeth among the lilies, and I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. Every man hath his sword upon his thigh, his lips a thread of scarlet. Let my beloved come into his sacred garden and eat his pleasant foods. So, the sisters tell me that you are quite the little actress. Tell me, where did you get that audition piece? In the library. The Song of Solomon. The student library. Mother Superior was so upset about the mysterious misfiling of the book that she canceled the play that year. Seasons faded from fall to spring, and before we knew it, the end of the school year was quickly approaching. But our biggest lessons had yet to be learned. That's her? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe this. It's just naked bodies. No, no, you have to see this. Rachel, you have a visitor. see his daughter? Where's mom? At home with the girls. Boss needed someone to make a supply run down to Kingston. You were only an hour out of my way. You know, I thought you'd be coming home more. Your mother and sisters, they miss you. Um, I gotta head back to Maine tomorrow. What do you say you and I get a bite to eat? There's a nice little restaurant next to where I'm staying. Dad, 
I can't just leave here. Oh, Mr. Dugan, how nice to see you. Sister, see that you've been taking good care of my daughter. <laughs> Hope she's been behaving herself. Oh, Rachel is a model student. Your father called earlier and asked if you could join him for dinner, and I thought this would be a nice outing for the two of you. Something wrong with the burger, Princess? No. I didn't take it back. It's fine. Hey. Excuse me. Dad, stop it. Hey. What do you got to do to get service around here? Hey, sweetheart. Can I help you? Yes. You can. I'd like you to bring my daughter another burger plate. What's wrong with this one? Nothing. It's shut your horn. Now, I'm not going to ask you again. Although we had not spoken about what we had witnessed months earlier, curiosity had won out. Penance bracelets were commonly worn by members of a certain religious orders as a means of self-punishment. Self-inflicted pain served to remind the wearer of Christ's suffering and death on the cross. In the early 1700s, these practices were taken to the extreme in France by a religious faction who called themselves Jansenists. I've never heard of them. There are a lot of things you've never heard of. The death of the revered Jansenist, Francois de Paris, further ignited their religious seal, claiming that the countless number of miraculous cures that occurred at his grave and at other sites where Relic was buried justified the righteousness of their cause. Supporters of the movement considered themselves defenders of the fundamental and essential truths of Catholicism by holding to a puritanical ideal of virtue. Independent of any papal authority, the Jansenists never formed their own religious order, sharing only the same point of view, that extreme rituals of self-denial and pain led to grace and virtue. were among the Jansenists a passionate group of followers. The convulsionaries of Seven, as they were called, seized upon only young girls who were susceptible to convulsions and epileptic fits, and believed to possess the divine gift of healing. Once able to reach a trance state, their bodies were subjected to all sorts of painful tests. So we'll, um, we'll swing by the room. I picked up a little something just for you. Dad, it's really late. It only take a second.
There are unexplainable occurrences in life that you cannot ignore or deny. I would never speak of that day, not to anyone. Would you just go see the nurse already? Fine. Fine, I've been upset the stomach. Yeah, that you've had for weeks. So you're saying this place in the woods is a shrine, so we should stay away from it? That's right. What else did they tell you? Let's just drop it, okay? I didn't think you'd be back in time for the game today. So, how was it? Beating you guys? Felt great. What is this, your fourth, fifth one this year? The retreat was fine. And it was my third. Hey, it's just a simple question. What's this? A little retreat souvenir? You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. What do you know? She hasn't a clue. back for at least half an hour. Tongue touching. Open mouth kissing held for longer than 10 seconds. Arousal of any kind must be avoided to maintain a state of grace. The conjugal act performed outside the sacrament of matrimony is a mortal sin. It will condemn your souls to hell. Done everything but She likes solidarity, so what? Why does that bother you so much? She's different. Can't you see that? Look, you don't mess with nuns like Bulldog. They're not like the rest of them. They're just old, set on their ways. No, it's more than that. They can put strange ideas in your head. Like? Like when I first got here. I was only 10 years old. Bulldog was mother superior. She and the old bats were put in charge of me. They made me feel so guilty about my brother's death. They had me going to mass and confession every day. They kept telling me over and over and over, atone for your sins, atone for your sins. I did. I didn't die. I should have. anyone from the outside. But sister... The what? father agrees. We are to keep this absolutely quiet. But this is serious. She saw what she looks like. You never told me how your brother died.
That image of Rachel would always stay with me. We all lost our innocence that day. I could kill her and that boyfriend of hers. We shouldn't be in here. Shut up, Rose. Well, it's her own fault. What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You know she's been sneaking off with that guy every chance she gets. What? You jealous? Why would I be jealous of her? She's nothing but a cheap tramp who got herself pregnant. You mean like your mother? Just because she made one mistake. Oh, come on, Rose. Wake up. Job interviews in the bedroom? God, can you be that stupid? Hey, don't call her stupid. I'll call her anything I want. Where does she get Stop off? it! Look, we are all friends here, okay? Let's remember that. Here. It'll make you feel better. No, it's not right. None of this is right. Rose. It's not as if it's consecrated or anything, okay? I want to carry you on the floor. Oh, you think you're so funny. And you really buy into that. A priest mumbles a few words and poof. It's crazy. You really believe that? All Catholics do. Let's just say I touched a consecrated host. Would I be struck dead? Would the world come to an end? What do we find out? Give me the keys. Stop kicking around. It's just a wafer. Why are you doing this? Oh, come on. Aren't you just a wee bit curious? What are you afraid of? Afraid to find out that maybe, just maybe, it's all a big, fat lie? Is it the truth worth that risk? I mean, they tell us what to believe and what not to believe. None of it makes any sense. My mother leaving, my father doesn't even want me. Maybe it all makes sense after all. We can't let her. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. None of us stopped Claudette as she made her way into the chapel. I think we understood. It was her personal challenge to God. Unbeknownst to us, there would be another whose rite of passage would come to be that night. Asking, here's your chance. Rosa Cruces, Benite, Videte, Videte, Videte. Whoever hath eyes to see can and will see rightly.
You wanted the truth? The truth is, you really are a lost soul. No. No, it's you who's lost. Come in. What is it? found this in a bag in the bottom of her locker. should have left them, but I thought if I could just keep them away from her, everything would be fine. This is all my fault. <laughs> Jackie would later share with me what Rachel's mother told her that day. The truth about Rachel and how she became pregnant. It was not so much in the words her mother spoke, but in the silence between them. Rachel would not return to school. We tried to make sense of the events of that day, but nothing could have prepared us for what was to come. As we gazed upon Sarah's lifeless body, a sense of confusion and fear filled my soul. Confusion over the right thing to do and fear over what might become of us if we told anyone what we discovered that day in the woods. tell anyone. We have to stick together on this. We tried to act as if everything was normal. But the pressure started to get to us. I almost envy her. I once read that consciousness doesn't leave the body until seconds before impact. So, do you want to know how my brother died? 
You don't have to tell me. Yeah. I do. I just turned 10. It was the hottest day of the year. Broke records. My parents were out, and I was watching Tommy. A real climber. My mother didn't like us to open windows. She said that that's what poor people do in the ghettos. All we had was this dinky little fan. I opened a window. That's when the phone rang. I was on the phone less than a minute. And you know what's really funny? <laughs> it was a wrong number. <laughs> That's why I come up here. <laughs> I try to feel, really feel that exact moment. I learned that day that guilt is a powerful emotion. Come forth and meet your beloved servant, Sarah Lambert. Receive her soul and offer it in the sight of the Most High. Receive her soul and offer it in the sight of the Most High. May Christ, who has come to you, Sister Sarah Lambert, Receive his handmaid. Receive her soul, soul and, and offer it in the sight of the Most High. Angels of the Lord, come forth to meet your beloved servant, Sarah Lambert. Receive her soul and offer it into the sight of the Most High. Eternal rest grant to our sister, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon her. May Christ, who has called you, Sister Sarah Lambert, now receive his handmaid. O oh, angels of the Lord, come to our sister's assistance. Receive her soul and offer it into the sight of the Most High. The nuns never gave us an official reason for Sarah's death, only that she died peacefully in her sleep. Sarah was laid to rest in a simple grave in the convent cemetery. From the moment she was buried, it was as if the nuns wanted to remove any trace of her.
pastoral constitution on the church in the modern world addresses the issues of human dignity, the sanctity of marriage, and family life. Yes, Jackie. How is it that the sanctity of marriage, which according to the church purports to be a sacred union, an equal partnership between a man and a woman, includes vows that read love, honor, and obey. A woman bears children for her husband. Oh, but that's not enough for him. She's expected to give up her autonomy and her name. In this world, women give, men take. Whatever they want, when they want. Now, where's the human dignity in that? Read silently to the bell. La famille exige une autopsie. Cousin au frère. Oh, c'est dans la main de bon Dieu. Sarah méritait bien le nom de son ancêtre, la Salamandra. Believed to be interceded by the hand of God, the convulsionaries were not wounded by sharp instruments or bruised by enormous weights or blows of incredible violence. One convulsionary, nicknamed La Salamandre, remained suspended for more than nine minutes above a fiery blaze, wrapped only in a sheet which also remained intact in the midst of the flames. The more Jackie read, the more we realized it was time to take matters into our own hands. I bet that's the autopsy report. Even if Olin did know something, he, he wouldn't tell. It's like a game he likes to play. He loves to keep secrets. Look, something happened out there, and we need to find out what it is. So if you have any ideas, let's hear them. We were determined to find the truth behind Sarah's death. Apparently, we weren't the only ones. We knew what we had to do. looking for exactly? You'll know when you find it. Nothing here. I think I found something. As we sat in Olin's cabin, gazing at the forbidden photographs, I pondered the truth we were so desperately seeking. Would we ever understand it? And if we did, whose truth would it be?
the truth behind a blind eye turned. The truth behind a sacrifice too great to grasp. The truth behind an innocence lost. The truth behind a miracle? Or the truth behind the power of denial? The events of that year and the mystery of Sarah Lambert opened our eyes. We bonded as freshmen and remained inseparable for the next three years. We never saw Rachel again. The day we graduated, we promised to keep in touch. But in life's unending puzzle, some pieces get lost along the way, and others no longer fit. Looking back, I realized how lucky I was. I learned about courage and surviving and most importantly, daring to seek out the truth. And it's infinite possibility. <laughs>